Whoa, what the f was that? Okay, this shark's active. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Well, that's the kind of shark we're looking for, but maybe dial it down a little. <laughs> Get ready, guys. This shark's on fire. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Got it, got yep. it. It was very challenging, because either the shark did not show any interest or it came in super fast sometimes. Oh, snap! And then we've got too much action and it's hard to get the shot. Whoa, he almost bit the camera. Suddenly, a second shark appears from the depths. And it's bigger than the last. Followed by a third great white. Also a 12-footer. And the fourth shark of the day, measuring over 13 feet. It's the biggest shark filmed in these waters in some time, a sign that larger animals are returning. I'm addicted to great white sharks, and I could never get sick of watching them hunt. The shark is massive. Let's rock and roll. Okay, it's quite close. Yeah, keep watching. Whoa! Yay! Yay! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well done. A juvenile great white attacks the seal decoy and launches into the air. The team reels in the decoy to assess the damage and see if they got a clean recording. There we go. Let's see the bite. First, first film. Ooh, just a hit? Was, a little uh, bit. He missed it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. The size of the bite mark left on the seal decoy allows the team to estimate the full size of the white shark. But I think this was a very inexperienced young white shark. Even though this is a smaller shark, we can tell by the size of this arch of the bite, it's still it's a seal. Scales. Yeah, it's a seal killer for sure. Let's get another one. Going into the eye of the storm here, guys. the largest shark yet, over 13 feet long.
The TOCAM's onboard camera confirms the shark's massive size. Looking good to me. Make us proud. Look, he's floating perfectly. This might just work, guys. Look at him, he looks perfect. So essentially, this is a tow cam, but it's got the little mini dicky on it. And to be honest, as I'm filming it, I was fooling myself. It really it looks legit. So we have mini dicky towing perfectly. And he has the phantom on him. And mini dicky has his own little camera that he's shooting with. Oh, this looks crazy. Do it now, do it now. Everything lined up so perfectly. The light, the shark coming out of the water. Even Mini Dicky got an incredible shot. That worked crazy, Dude, right? the shark looks huge. It worked. It worked. It looks real. It looks like Dicky getting towed and seeing that shark breathe. Just tied it all together. Facing sunrise, the team resets and drops the decoy in for another tow. Monster of the Dark, estimated at 14 feet long. The biggest breach they've seen in years. The night breach we got still blows my mind right now. I mean, I couldn't see it with my eyes, and yet through the camera, it almost looked like daylight. Using ambient light even from the city to hunt these seals in total darkness and we're able to capture it with these cameras it's incredible the gulls are totally convinced they are circling the seal waiting for it to get ripped in half <laughs> Michelle Jewell is conducting a groundbreaking experiment to uncover the secret language of white shark breaching, and she may have just obtained the audio she needs yes. to further her experiment. A 2,200-pound male explodes out of the water, flying 10 feet out of the air, before angling his tail to crash his body back into the water. 
Oh, that was a nice one. When they went back in, Perfect. that was a full-on body slam. Perfect. It's exactly what we were looking for. Oh. It's a repeat performance for the 10 and a half footer. But this time, it's completely inverted and still locked onto its target like a fighter jet. Beautiful to witness. Dickie and Andy have noticed that the seals are now crowded onto the rocks. Few are venturing into the water, a sign that there could be several sharks patrolling the area. Hopefully, one of them will be a record breaker. But at just 10 and a half feet, this high flyer still doesn't measure up to the legends of the past. Our second breach, not bad. Not the biggest shark, but actually getting bigger. Whoa! Coming out of the water, doing a flip. These sharks here are very acrobatic, which I like. What they lack in size, they make up with effort. 